Hazy skies across the tri-state area today for second day in the row. We are under an air quality alert. Looking live for you at noon. As you can see, there is that haze still in the air and those Canadian fires making for unhealthy levels. But we should see an improvement over the weekend. Let's get over to Elise Finch. She has a forecast for us. So difficult to make outdoor plans for the holiday weekend. With this. It is. It is difficult because in addition to worrying about the weather, is it actually going to rain? Now you also have to be concerned about the air quality. Is it safe for all members of your family or all the all the friends that you're inviting to actually be outside. So let's start with the AQI, the Air Quality Index. The number is at 169 right now, which puts us firmly in the unhealthy categories. The categories start here in the green. This is good. And little by little goes around until we're unhealthy. And then obviously hazardous uh, is where we were. That's when the sky was orange. So we're not there, but we are firmly into the unhealthy category. Obviously, one look outside, you can see why things are very hazy. Hazy sun shine because minus the smoke from these Canadian wildfires, we would be looking at a mostly sunny Friday afternoon. It's certainly warm. We're at 81 degrees right now with winds out of the northeast at nine miles an hour. Lots of 80s popping up. We're at 82 for Staten Island, 83 for Sheepshead Bay and Jackson Heights. Newark is at 84 degrees right now. So a big picture look shows you that most of the area really uh, seeing temperatures now upper 70s to the low 80s. And there are some cooler locations. Greenwich is at 73, the Hamptons at 76. We're talking about visibility because in addition to the haze created by that smoke from Canadian wildfires, we also saw fog developing. So fog was an issue this morning. Haze remains an issue this afternoon. Visibility is reduced, but not as significant as it was this morning when we also had fog in play. As we take a look at the future cast for near surface smoke, things actually improve as we head toward tomorrow morning. So we'll watch those numbers come down and then we'll watch those numbers come down a little bit more as we head deeper into the weekend. So things will improve. It's gradual. We won't be completely smoke less, but things will be better. So we take a look at your satellite and radar. Just a few clouds out there right now. We're expecting dry conditions today. Tomorrow, our chances for rain go up just a bit, and then they go up more for Sunday. So overall, a fairly quiet day for us, you know, with actual weather. And uh, we are tracking, of course, disturbances that are forecast to impact us on Sunday. So if you're heading to the beach or the mountain, the thing to remember is that Sunday is going to be the active day. At the mountains, at our beaches, it looks like we have about a 60% chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. So for today, the future cast is pretty quiet. We head into tomorrow, slight chance of a shower, but on Sunday is when things start to get active. So you can see that you do need to sort of pick your times and places. The 4th of July itself looks warm and sticky, 85 degrees, humid, with about a 20% chance of showers or thunderstorms. So your first alert seven-day forecast, you can see it there, very warm, and as the humidity goes back up this weekend, Mary, very sticky. Okay, run it. In, run out, there bring an go. umbrella, don't. Okay, <laughs> Elise, thanks so much.